Hey guys, it's Carl. So we know that a lot of you guys stock up on engine oil for one reason or another. Many of you have stashes of motor oil in the deep dark corners of your garage or shop. If you do, then we really want you to be cautious if you ever plan to use that oil in a vehicle. But as you'll see in this video, the older oils aren't the only ones that can cause damage to your vehicle's engine. Some of the newest engine oils can cause harm as well if they run an older engine. Please pay attention to the API rating of the oil that you're going to use. API stands for American Petroleum Institute and they classify motor oils and other chemicals for safe and proper use. They have been classifying oils since before the 1930s, almost since the dawn of the automobile. Since then, there have been 12 incremental classifications that have emerged. You can see them here in this chart. API started with the SA classification and is now currently using SN. As you can see from the chart, there are three categories of usability below the ratings. Classifications SA through SE are very obsolete. It's not recommended that these oils be used in any vehicle as it could damage internal engine components. Classifications SF through SH are listed as obsolete, but they're not as dangerous to use as the older oils. Current classifications SJ through SL are fully reverse compatible, and it's even recommended that you use these newer oils in a car like a 1963 Nash Rambler over the SC rated oil that was originally approved for it. Now, the newest and most current SM and SN rated oils rolled out in 2004 are a different story. These latest API classifications of oil are not reverse compatible, most notably for older vehicles with flat pivot camshafts. The reason for this is that in order to meet new EPA mandates to protect catalytic converters, the zinc content of these oils was reduced by half. API advised in 2004 that SM rated oils may not be suitable for flat tabbit engines. Then, in 2010, for the SN classification, the main detergent was changed over to the more aggressive calcium instead of the milder magnesium or sodium. In addition to the already reduced zinc content, detergents also increased overall by about 1,000 parts per million. So if you're changing that oil in your fully stocked 1973 Olds Cutlass, it would be wise to go with an SJ or SL rated oil, or one of the many specialty motor oils, such as the hot rod oil from Driven Racing that we sell here at Summit Racing. We have the oils that contain the proper zinc content and will keep your flat tap at camshaft from failing prematurely. I know what you're going to say, Carl, can I just use zinc additive and still use the newer oils? Well, the answer to that is no. The amount of zinc removed from the newer oils and also the amount of detergents added to them is so significant that no zinc additive you can use will be able to properly make up the difference. Newer engines found in today's cars require today's newer motor oils in order to run properly. The best way to determine if an oil is safe to run in your vehicle is to run the oil that the manufacturer recommends, which can be found in the owner's manual or by the label under the hood that tells you so. Next, you'll want to confirm that your oil's API rating is within the proper range. Look for the API donut label on the back of the bottle. This is especially important if you're using old oil that may have been sitting in your garage for a while. In the center of the donut label, you'll see your oil's viscosity, whether it be 10W30, 5W30, etc. And across the top half, you'll see the API rating. For example, the label may read API Service SN or SN Plus, which tells you that your oil is SN rated, which tells you the oil is safe to use in your 2004 and newer vehicle. One more note, this video was filmed and posted in early 2019 and as time goes by, more classifications will emerge. API may eventually release SO and SP classifications, which will then shift the usability classifications so it's good to stay informed. You can stay up to date by visiting www.pqiamerica.com and clicking on their links to API service classification. Thanks for watching.